greenhouses are framed structures covered with translucent material large enough to grow crops under partial or fully controlled environmental conditions. It is rather used to protect the plants from adverse climatic conditions such as wind, cold, pests and diseases. Tomatoes is one of the crops mostly grown in greenhouses. In a small plot of land measuring 19 times 15 square meters, one can grow 560 tomatoes. The tomatoes we are growing actually grow up to around 16 meters high. They are quite high compared to what you have seen outside. This brand, when you plant it, or this particular type of uh, tomato, when you plant it, it grows. You can actually harvest on the same stem or the same tree for six months. The production of tomatoes in greenhouses has raised hopes that the popular vegetable will be available throughout the year at affordable prices. Marian of Bauton, Uganda says this type of farming reduces three times the cost of production compared to open field production. This crop can give you a yield. At least you start reaping from this house in three months. Three months. This house right now is at two months and maybe one week. But the moment the tomatoes start ripening, you start selling. Two, there is inconsistency in our farmers when they are supplying. Why? Because we are depending on the climate. Here, year in, year round, you're producing. From January to January, you will, you will be producing. Well, there are more than 50 countries now in the world where cultivation of crops is undertaken on a commercial scale undercover. The United States of America has a total area of about 4,000 hectares under greenhouses, mostly used for fruit culture, with a turnover of more than 2.8 billion US dollars per annum. The Netherlands is a tradition export of greenhouse grown flowers and vegetables all over the world on approximately 89,600 hectares under cover. Israel is also the largest export of cut flowers and has a wide range of crops under greenhouses on approximately 15,000 hectares. However, a few African countries are taking up greenhouse farming on a large scale, with only Egypt taking it up on close to 1,000 hectares. The analysts contend that if Uganda is to emerge as an economic power in the world, our agricultural productivity and innovativeness should equal those countries which are currently rated as economic powers of the world. The advantage of greenhouse farming is that unlike other rain-fed agriculture which is prone to be affected by drought, the greenhouse ensures farmers undertake drip irrigation which ensures constant supply of water throughout the year. Same amount of water and we fertilize using the water. The fertilizer is put in the tank so this water is flowing, it's giving food and it's giving the plant life. The present agriculture scenario in Uganda has been a mix of outstanding achievements and missed opportunities. However, with the advent of greenhouse technology, it is believed that this scenario will be reversed. No jobs up there, but there are jobs in agriculture. That one I know. There are jobs here. So we are appealing to the youth, we are appealing to the parents to change our, our testimonies and what we are telling our children. You need a doctor once a week on average. You might need a lawyer once a month or once a year or never in your life, but a farmer. You need a farmer at breakfast, at lunchtime, and at dinner time. So who is more important? That's your question. You answer it for me. Samuel Senum, UBC Modern Farming.